Dad gummit, I just found a hole in my shell. <gasps> I'm gonna have to start putting on like two Kevlar socks to keep that from happening. But that's not the point of this video. salty about this than I care to admit. You guys have heard me talk about how sore my leg is for almost two years now. That I can't be end bearing, that I have to wear all these socks. It's a pain to carry them around, right? Okay, so you remember a couple videos back where I had to be off of my limb for almost two weeks, which is not easy because I'm the only adult in my house. And we just had an earthquake the other day, scared the life out of me. Thank God my husband was home at the time because it woke me up in the middle of the night. I didn't know if I had to gather kids. I didn't know if it was a tornado and I had no idea where my leg was at the time because I was asleep. So taking kids to school or making meals or all of the normal daily tasks of being a mom is really hard when you don't have another foot attached to your leg. And the reason was because of that really bad callus at the end of my bone. It was super rough and very painful, like to the point of I cannot even touch it, a sheet can't even touch the end of my limb while I sleep or I would be in incredible pain. So after those two weeks of completely healing that callus area, I decided to try these socks that my best friend gave me because her son is an amputee. In the two years, in the several prosthetists that I've been to, at least four, no one has ever mentioned this. I call it a silver sock. I still don't know who makes it. I need to talk to Julie about it. It's called the underliner. I finally have insurance again. I'm gonna go talk to my prosthetist about it and get you guys more information. But what I wanna say is, I don't have even the slightest bit of callus. I have been wearing these for weeks. All of that goose skin that was on the side of my legs from my socket and my liner pulling on it all day is completely gone. My skin on my limb is the same anywhere else, nice and smooth. But here's the crazy part. Here is what I'm so salty about. I can actually be end bearing, which is insane to me. Going from not even a sheet touching the end of my limb because of how painful it was to actually be end bearing in my socket and bearing weight on it. I can't even wrap my head around it. And after I made these videos about how sore the end of my limb was, I would get all these texts from different amputees who have helped me along the way and say, why can't you walk on the end of your limb? That's the whole point of the Ertl procedure. And I'm like, I don't know. But now I understand. It's because I didn't have the equipment that I needed. Why? Again, I have no idea. But that's why it's so important for people like me to give information to the masses because together we can hopefully get all of the information that we need. So that's why I put important things like this in my amputee Q&A guide. If you are walking through elective amputation, which is the entire reason that I started this channel to begin with, is for the people walking through elective amputation. It is the most heartbreaking, grueling, horrific decision making process that you have to go through in life aside from letting a loved one go. You don't know whether you're making the right choice or not and the doctors leave it completely up to you and then they chop it off and they're like, good luck. So if you don't wanna sit through all of the videos, all of the amputee forums on different sites, all of the internet information, doctor prosthetist, blah, 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 and still miss the things that you need, go get my amputee Q&A guide because it has all of these things that I've learned the hard way, that people have volunteered to me, that the doctors have said, the questions and answers that I've seen in all of the amputee forums, and so on and so forth. I am so passionate about this because I don't want somebody to go through the things that I've gone through. Why I've had such a hard time learning this, I have no idea. I hope it gets better from here. But I also think it's because everybody has a different journey. And so maybe the things that apply to the last amputee that they have don't apply to me and vice versa. 
but who am I to say what you need and what you don't need? So I'm just gonna give you all the information and you can take the nuggets that you need. So normally while I'm happy and chipper on this channel, and I am so happy and chipper about this particular situation because it makes my life so much easier and so much less painful, which is why I cut my leg off to begin with. I'm still a little irritated and like I said, salty about this matter. And it's going to take some time to process it because I'm mad, but I don't know who to be mad at. Do you know what I mean? I hope that this channel is beneficial for you. I hope that this information has helped you. I am absolutely loving these socks. And the moment that I figure out where to get them, I will give you that information. But for now, I think probably just ask your prosthetist about it. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys found information and value in this video. Even if you are not an amputee or have anything to do with amputation and you're just curious, please like, subscribe, and share this video because it tells the algorithm that this is important information that other people might need to have. I really appreciate your support. Members, thank you so much for all of your support and everything that you do for my family. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day.